the rounded corners for a square or a rectangle are a really fun and popular shape to use when uh, doing uh, hybrid or digital memory keeping. But how do you create that shape? Um, it's actually pretty easy and straightforward in Procreate. And in this video, I'll show you how. So let's go ahead and get started. I have here a 12 inch by 12 inch canvas at 300 dpi, which translates out to 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels. And I'm gonna choose you know, any old color. This blue looks like it's fine. And then for my brush, I'm gonna go ahead and select calligraphy and the monoline brush. Only I'm not gonna use the monoline brush. I'm gonna create my own brush. I'm gonna slide that gently to the left, tap duplicate, and then tap that duplicate to open it. And I'm gonna select properties and I'm gonna dial the maximum size all the way up to max and the minimum size somewhere around 30-ish. Well, let's see, 32, okay. And when you're satisfied with that size, go ahead and tap done. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I kinda of want a reference guide so I know if my, my shape is lined up. So I'm gonna tap the wrench and canvas drawing guide and then edit drawing guide. And I just happen to know that to get two inch squares on my, uh, my canvas here that's the 12 inch by 12 inch. I just need to tap it and uh, type in 600 pixels and then done. And when you're satisfied, you might wanna dial up the opacity or whatever, but when you're satisfied, go ahead and tap done. Okay, now with this big thick uh, brush, I'm actually gonna draw a small square so that I get that uh, the impact of the roundedness and the thickness of my brush. And so that is really how we're going to draw our rounded square and so rounded corners and let's see we're also going to use or invoke quick shapes so we're going to draw our shape and hold and then tap so that we can get a nice square so let's go ahead and just use one of these uh, two inch by two inch squares here and draw very quickly and go up and hold and then tap and let's see it looks like it's given me a, a polyline let's go ahead and check that out okay i want to tap square awesome and it looks like it's pretty well lined up although it might be just over like this it just slightly tilted to the left and that's okay i'm going to go ahead and fix that later on with my move and transform tool but i really like this shape so i'm going to tap out into the workspace and then i'm going to fill it and now i have my rounded square so let's go ahead and make it big now i'm going to tap the move and transform tool we're going to have uniform selected and the first thing I'm gonna do while it's still kind of small is I'm gonna adjust the alignment. So I'm gonna just move it just slightly over and I'm using the grid as a guide to see that these are straight on. And then there's another trick. I'm gonna turn off the transform tool and then turn it back on. And if the lines are really nice and snug against the shape, that means you've got it aligned properly. So I'm actually satisfied with this alignment and now I wanna go ahead and grow the size. So I'm gonna go ahead and just bring up the size like that. And I have snapping on right here, the snapping op option and a distance of three. And uh, that helps me realize when I've got it lined up. So now with the golden lines showing, I can see that I have it centered both vertically and horizontally. And that's it. That is my quick and easy tip for how to get a nice square with rounded corners. If you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell so you're notified when new videos become available. Meanwhile, I hope your day is amazing.